Welcome to Maver Analysis for Hedgehog and a Happy New Year. So, uh, we will be looking at a sample that I wasn't able to decompile, so I asked some colleagues how to do it uh, because I knew they had they were successful decompiling it, so I saved myself some time and just asked them how they did it. Um, just so you know, it's not my uh, accomplishment in this case. Okay, uh, that's again a ransomware, but it's not the interesting part is not what's underneath right now. So uh, let's check this out. Um, this file is a Python uh, executable. Uh, it was a Python script and was turned into an executable using something like py2exe. Um, I have already done a video about decompiling these, unpacking these, um, so I will link the video below and you should look at this video. I don't want to repeat the things that I explained there. I will just um, start off from from there. I think it's just the first half of that video you need to look at. So okay, here we have uh, the overlay and we have, we see that it's um, packed or uh, encrypted. In this case, the overlay contains the Python archive and the archive itself is of course um, compressed, which creates the high entropy. Okay. And you can also check the signatures that it finds and it says it's a Zlib archive in this case. Okay. We can use py inst, inst extractor.py to extract the files in there. Um, so we will simply do that and it's successful. It puts it into this hc6 underscore extracted folder. And now, well, so far, so good. That's what we did in the last video as well. And uh, here you can see the main file. That's like hc6.exe.manifest that points to the main uh, Python script that uh, has been used by the uh, that the person created. So we want to take a look into this. And in the previous video, the sample, the, the Python script was already in a decompiled state or we, there was no need to decompile it. It wasn't compiled. Okay. So in this case, we have a compiled file. You see, it doesn't look like a script. It's just uh, enumerating some strings, which are quite typical for ransomware. Um, but it's not a script so far. Now, if you try to decompile this, I will be using uncompose six, and that's um, in this folder, and it's named hc6. Now, the uncompile will complain that this is not a .py or .pyc file. So the first thing you m might want to do is rename this or, or copy it, pyc, uh, append the .pyc extension, because some tools need this extension to, well, to, to make them work, because I will check if that's the right extension there. Okay. No, append this. And now we have an error um, error message. It says input error unknown magic number 99 in hc6 underscore executed and so on and so on. So it says the magic number is wrong. If you take a look at how Python files are built up, there's, uh, I will also put a link of this website below. Um, uh, Ned Batchfelder wrote something about the buildup of .pyc files. It says uh, there's a four-byte magic number 
and then a four byte modification timestamp and then the marshall code object so let's check what's up with this magic number because obviously the file complains that it isn't right uh and compile um if you read this it will say uh the magic number is nothing cool as cafe babe it's just two bytes a change with each change to the marshalling code so it says the marshalling code is tweaked in every major release of Python. So in practice, the magic number is unique in each version of the Python interpreter. For example, for Python 2.5, it's this. So we would have to know which Python version this is, uh, or just guess and try. And um, see now, I, uh, I changed the name, stop complaining. Um, now, if you look into this out folder right here, there are also PYC files, right? Uh, if you take a look into those, and try to decompile those, out, ABC, Recognize it right. Yes, ABC. This will work. Yeah, I just used the one one of those PYC files in the subfolder, uh, and it will print the Python code right onto the command uh, prompt. So this works. That means they have a valid header right here so and it seems that this is the magic number that we might want to use if you compare this to the file right here take a look at this there's this c or 63 and the at sign and if you compare it is missing this part in front Compared to this, there's something missing in the front, right? So all we have to do is actually copy this and uh, prepend this to the um, hc6 file, okay? We insert this, it changes the file size, that's all right. And we save this. And now we try to extract this again. And we see it's uh, partially successful. It says, okay, pass error at something. Let's put this into a log file. And open up the log file. You can see Python. You can see that it's um, it's having some difficulties with decompiling this. Like some parts are decompiled, right? We see we see decompiled code right here, and then it has some problems with with other parts of the code. The first thing you should do is just try another tool. I mean, it sounds really uh, like a bad solution, kind of, but save yourself some time try another tool um usually that works well and in this case it does um, also you may not want to go through the hassle of using uh installing these command line tools you can also use something like this uh, easy python decompiler it's a wrapper for uncompiled 2 and for decompiled plus plus so um if you prefer these kind of tools, you can also use them. You will also have to rename this, uh, do the same changes to this file in order to decompile it. And let's check this out. Open. And it says decompile success. So we'll put the decompile code right here. We can now check it out. And that's it. It worked. So we made this work by 
prepending the parts of the header that are missing and then decompiling this with in this case easy decompiler I'm not sure which one was which one of the compilers is used by default uh, so maybe uncompile 2 will work uh, yeah and that's it already I hope this helps you with Mega analysis of Python compiled files. Alright, see you next time. Thanks for watching.